Recently, France issued a strong warning to Niger, stating that it will retaliate if any of its interests come under attack. This warning was prompted by protesters attempting to enter the French embassy in Niamey, the capital city of Niger. President Emmanuel Macron emphasized that France will not tolerate any aggression directed at its interests. The protests that occurred around the French embassy in Niger have been denounced by France. It is important to note that Niger experienced a military coup during the same week. Notably, Niger holds the position of the world's fifth largest uranium producer, supplying nearly 25% of the European Union's uranium in 2021. This uranium contributes significantly to the generation of electricity for millions of households. However, the situation is deeply concerning as only 13% of Niger's population has access to electricity, making it one of the poorest countries globally. According to the World Bank, nearly 60% of Nigerians live below the national poverty line. Adding to the complexity of the situation, a study by the Extractive Industries Transparency Initiative revealed a stark disparity. It showed that a French company, Arriva, extracted over $4.8 billion worth of uranium from Niger in 2010 alone but paid only $1.9 million in royalties to the country. This imbalance has fueled sentiments of constant exploitation by France, benefiting the political elites seen as French puppets. The recent coup in Niger was significantly influenced by widespread dissatisfaction with France's exploitation, leading to the ousting of the government. The military leaders who took control accused the previous administration of permitting a French military operation to rescue the deposed president, Mohamed Bazoum. The military government spokesperson, speaking on state television, disclosed that Foreign Minister Hassoum Jmamoudou had authorized the French military to attack the presidential palace. This development is particularly concerning as the French military has maintained a presence in Niger for some time, using the country as a key ally in the Sahel region. Currently, there are over 1,000 French troops, some of which were redeployed from Mali, stationed in Niamey and regions bordering areas affected by jihadist activities. If you found this video informative, please let us know in the comments below. We appreciate your support and encourage you to like and share this video to improve its visibility on the YouTube algorithm. Don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell to stay updated on our latest videos.